Hi, black woman tries Thai street food a day in the life living in Abu Dhabi city. My name is Kemunto. If you are first time seeing this video, watch till the end to see my excursions and attractions of Abu Dhabi has to offer. It has a wealth of attractions for residents and visitors alike, combining natural beauty, cultural landmarks and modern entertainment. Abu Dhabi offers a variety of transportation options, making it easy to get around the city, whether you are a resident or a visitor. The city's transportation infrastructure is modern, efficient, and continually improving. Here is a breakdown of the main transportation options available in Abu Dhabi. There are taxis, ride hail services, Uber, Karim, there's car rentals, there's bicycles and e-scooters and you can see we are using here a metro and train. So Abu Dhabi's transportation system is diverse, offering options for every type of traveler from public buses to taxis to car rentals and future metro systems. Whether you are looking for convenience, luxury or something more eco-friendly, the city well equipped to get you where you need to go, both within the city and to neighboring regions. The Abu Dhabi International Airport is a major hub in the region, offering both domestic and international flights. The airport is well connected to the city by taxi, private tra As far as buses, it's about a 30 minute, 30 minute drive from the city center, depending on the traffic. Transformation to and from the airport, uh, taxis, ride hailing, cabs, Uber, and airport shuttles are available. Abu Dhabi is a city of contrast, offering both traditional Arabian experiences and world-class modernity. Its foreign residents enjoy a cosmopolitan lifestyle in a city rich with cultural heritage and global influences. Whether you are exploring its vibrance, art scene, enjoying a desert adventure, or savouring a delicious meal, Abu Dhabi is a city that caters to a wide range of interests, making it a unique destination in the middle East. Abu Dhabi is a paradise for food lovers with an eclectic mix of cuisines from around the world reflecting its diverse expatriate population. If you are in Abu Dhabi and craving Thai street food, Tuk Tuk offers a wonderful opportunity to experience the essence of Thai cuisine in a vibrant, fun setting. Whether you are a fan of spicy dishes, savory curries, or fresh salad, this is what delivers on both flavor and authenticity. It has quick service. The staff was friendly and attentive, and ensured we feel welcomed and taken care of. Oh, so my fish just came. This is what I get every time I come here. Like, by now they should know my order. Well, let me just push this out of the way. Come on, let me see what you take. Thanks about her um, first taste of tom yum soup with shrimp. So good. You like it? Mm -hmm. With the mushroom. <clears throat> let me try the shrimp. And it's spicy. It is spicy. Wow, it's so good. Yeah, very good, especially if you have like a cold or something. Even the Tom Yum soup, it has a fungus and spicy soup that is true to the reflection of Thailand's blonde, bold flavor profile. It's Tom Yum, mm -hmm. Tom Yum, mm -hmm. um, soup with shrimp. Mm -hmm. It's like a um, sour lemongrass soup. Mm -hmm. It's like bamboo shoots, I think. Lemongrass soup. Mm -hmm. Some green tastes like sort of like cilantro. Mm -hmm. There might possibly be some tamarind in it as well, so it's very good. Yeah, and your drink is? Oh, this is my coconut milk frap. So mm -hmm. It's very good. You know, I'm an island girl, so Yay. I had to go with the coconut. Yay. And mine is? The Thai iced tea with cheese. Because mm -hmm. I'm going live. Sorry, right. hold on. This is so good. This is what I thought. Tabak soup taste like. <laughs> but this doesn't have any coffee in it at all. 
like I thought it's gonna be smooth. Yes, that's the word. Like smooth. I think you should probably give it another try. I think it's because of what you ordered. Yeah, I'll try something else. Yeah. Try and I still need to take you to my favorite coffee spot as well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So this is my food. This is what I order every time I come to this Thai restaurant. It's the deep fried fish with Thai sweet and spicy sauce. It's so delicious. And Kimunso got the Pad Thai with beef. She wanted to try Thai noodles for the first time. So I ordered Pan Thai. It's a classic Thai street food favorite that perfectly balances sweet, sour, salty and spicy flavors. It was so good. You should definitely visit Tuk Tuk because it offers traditional Thai flavors from the Thailand street food culture. Mm. Okay, the food I've tasted here is so good. Ever since I've been here, every food I've tasted is very, very nice. And these people are original Thai as well too, so yeah. they like, yeah, this authentic food. <laughs> <laughs> so she keeps on coming asking me if it's okay because I told her I wanted it very spicy. Like spicy, okay. She's worried. She doesn't know that I like spice. <laughs> Let me see how much spice she put in it today, though. It looks delicious. Mm. This is good. It's spicy, but it's good. Yes. Thank you. If you are craving the energy and excitement of street food without traveling to Thailand, Tuk Tuk offers an excellent way to experience it in the heart of Abu Dhabi. It also has vegetarian and vegan options. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thanks for dinner, Camu. You're welcome. <laughs> Prices are not bad at all. And the serving size is so good. They have lots of options. Why visit Tuk Tuk? It's affordable and flavorful. Compared to high end restaurants, High-end Thai restaurants, Tuk Tuk offers a more affordable dining option without compromising on taste and quality. It also includes a variety of vegetarian and vegan friendly dishes. And for everything we ate, this is what it came up to. So two mains, an appetizer and two um, juice. And it was 214 dirhams, which is like 55 USD. Abu Dhabi is the capital of the United Arab Emirates, UAE, is a city that is seamlessly blends modernity with tradition. Known for its impressive skyline, luxury and cultural richness, the city is a prominent center of politics, business and culture in the Middle East. Here is an overview of Abu Dhabi, its foreign residence, culture, excursions and dining scene. Abu Dhabi is located in an, on an island in the Par. Parisian Gulf connected to the mainland by bridges. While it while it's not as flashy as Dubai, it is just as impressive in its own right, with expansive natural landscapes, a booming economy driven by, largely by oil and gas, and rapid development. <laughs> so we got a boogie guy. Terrible, 
Mga din nga buggy. Abu Dhabi is a home to a large expatriate community with foreigners making up a significant portion of the population. The majority of foreign residents come from countries like India, Pakistan, the Philippines, the UK, and other parts of the world, including a growing number of Westerners in business and government sectors. Foreign residents in Abu Dhabi generally enjoy a high standard of living with many experts working in industries such as oil and gas, construction, finance, healthcare, and education. The UAE tax-free income policy is a key draw for foreign professionals. Well, the city also offers modern housing, excellent health care, and a good quality of life. Most experts live in areas like Al Rim Island, Al Raha Beach, and Sadiat Island, which feature a mix of modern apartments and villas. Guys, is it true that it's a glass of wine is forty-five dollars in Abu Dhabi? Yeah, what's five dollars? Forty-five, like a drink, alcoholic drink. Yes, how much? Forty-five dollars. Is it true? No. <laughs> because that's what people say. No, <laughs> they say crazy. like alcohol is the most expensive thing in UAE. You can all you can drink for oh, that's oh. <laughs> Get ready with me, Kem Tobea, as we are going to explore the city with the excursion and attractions on today's video are getting ready to go to the Louvre Art Museum in Abu Dhabi and also the Grand Mosque and we have to adhere to our dress code so we're getting ready and we're gonna see my attire today huh? because Abu Dhabi is a deeply cultural city that balances its rich Arab heritage with international influences islamic traditions are central to its identity but the city is also becoming a cultural hub due to the significant investment in art museums and international cultural collaborations in today's video i'm gonna explore the art and the museums the modern cultural scene in abu dhabi has been investing heavily in the arts and culture scene the city is home to cultural institutions like the Louvre Abu Dhabi, a branch of the famous Paris Museum. Also the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, one of the largest mosques in the world, is a stunning example of Islamic architecture and a major cultural landmark. Other cultural sites will be included on this video. Please watch this video till the end and subscribe for I have more videos coming so stay tuned visitors must adhere to a modest dress code when entering the mosque women are required to wear a long dress or an abaya i'll suggest just wearing an abaya which is provided by the mosque or you can rent it it's only like 45 dirhams it's not more than 50 dirhams while men should wear long trousers and avoid shorts, sleeveless tops and tight-fitting clothes are not allowed. The mosque provides traditional garments for visitors who may not meet the dress code. But my experience when I went is you have to buy it. Ever since COVID, the rules have changed. You have to buy it. So buy it this in the mosque. In the mosque, there's a, like a show, small shopping center where they sell before you enter the mosque. You can get them there. The mosque offers free guided tours in several languages, including Arabic, English, French, and more. The tours take you through the mosque architecture, history, and significance. Okay, guys, hi, good morning. Today is day five, and today I did my makeup. We're going to the Grand Sheikh, Sheikh Mohammed Grand Mosque, and uh, we're going also to the Louvre. I think the Louvre is like 60, 
So it's a two dirhams, that's like roughly 18 USD, 18, 19 euros to go inside and uh, you have to wear, I'm wearing this uh, because of the mosque, you have to be all covered. I'm going to ask someone to put this. The mosque, the grand mosque, Sheikh Grand Mosque is free to enter. I'm waiting for my taxi. Uh, to pay for my taxi, you can all, always use Uber instead of Karim or personal taxi where you can negotiate the price, the meter. But I will suggest, highly suggest you use Uber. So I'm using taxi. Yes. So what do you like? So I'm waiting for it right now. And I'll put the opening times and all those city stuff. That's how we're looking. Follow my LTK shop for everything you, you want to see and all those stuff. <laughs> this is my first time wearing a hijabi. Yes. Let me know what you think on the comment section. We're daily vlogging every single day. So, yeah, we're daily vlogging already. The fly with me is already up. Uh, vlog park with me is already up. They'll be on a playlist to buy a Dhabi Mumbai playlist. I'll always link it here. And if you want to support the channel, you can support it at, I'll pin it on the comment section below. Or you can super thanks, super chat whatever and most importantly watch this video till the end that's the most important thing watch this video till the end we're doing tours things to do in abu dhabi <laughs> You are from where? Sorry. You are from where? From India. India. Oh, nice. Are you a teacher? Uh, no, I'm not a teacher. I'm an influencer. I'm a vlogger. I vlog. I'm on YouTube. YouTube. Yes, oh. I do YouTube. <laughs> How many years? 45,000. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to India before, Mumbai. Sorry? I've been to Mumbai. Mumbai? Yes. Oh, okay. Very when, good. When? Huh? When? Uh, 2019. 2019? When? when I already went? Yes, already went. Already went. Already visit. How is the Mumbai? It's very good. <laughs> yes. Kerala. Kerala. Oh. State is Kerala. Oh, nice. There is, there is a nice uh, green mountain. Green mountains. Tea. Uh, Tamil Nadu, there is a very nice place. Oh. Mumbai almost city. Yes. Mumbai city. Yeah. Bye.